Great energy, you guys. Yeah, thank I you. love the energy. Energy is so important for anything that you do um, because it gets you set up for success. So I love your guys' oh, energy. Oh, I like that. Thank yeah. you for telling us okay, that. Well, that's that's beautiful. I think that's the one <laughs> good aspect of this show is that we're definitely energetic. Even when we show up in the morning, we're like, ah, we know that the show will get us going. Yeah. Yes. Because our guests, they get us going. Yeah. I think you're inspiring us to be energetic. I hope so. That's that's what life is about. It's all about energy, a transfer of energy. So oh. tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, the, the life coaching, but you also do modeling. Do you, uh, how, how'd you get into that? Oh my God. So I actually started in radio. Mm -hmm. I started in radio several years ago, Spanish radio, and I spoke Spanish horribly. No hablaba bien el español. And they loved that about me. They absolutely really? loved that about me. But back then, I was 420 pounds. So wow. radio was perfect because I wanted to go into TV. And they're like, no, 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 no. Your face is beautiful, pero estás muy gorda. And they're like, quédate en la radio, quédate en la radio, quédate en la radio. And I think that was a motivating factor that I kept getting known. It's like, no, there has to be space for plus size women to be right. able to showcase their talents. And one thing led to another. I went through a really bad divorce, ended up going to a beauty pageant. And then from a beauty pageant, didn't win. It was an epic fail, but that epic fail led me to so many life lessons and got me on the path of plus size modeling. I got discovered through National Geographic. My what? pictures went viral. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, she's got a beautiful face. And then they would see my whole body and they're like, Oh, but she's a really big girl, está bien gordita. Uh -huh. <laughs> and just one thing led, led to another. I mean, I think the, the, the criticisms and everybody saying no and just really having that firm vision of, I really want this, I'm passionate, and I don't care what anybody says, I'm gonna get this done. Right, yeah. but let me tell you, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, like, thicker women and you know have you had a lot of men react to that or, you know, you know do, what? They, I, I think, do they reach out to you online you know there 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 definitely is um there definitely is a lot of amazing men out there i'm not gonna say there there's so many handsome men out there but i think you have to be ready to receive that energy and i think at this point i'm so focused on being a single parent being okay. a mom on my kids and my career and i think love will come at the right time at the right place when i'm ready for it because if you're not ready for it you attract a whole bunch of people there's a little bit of good, a little bit of bad. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It, it really is time consuming to give yourself into a relationship to someone else. And I don't find that it's fair if you're not ready to, to right. half ass it, basically. So, no dating, no messing around, uh, no. nothing, no flings. Not for no now. Flings, not wow, for so now. You're, you're saving yourself till the next real relationship. So, you're just. You know what? I am giving myself to being present in this moment and just being 100% present with my kids and then really being focused on my health, on my future, on my success. And I'm really, really working on myself, really developing, really learning and getting to know myself at this point in my life because everybody changes throughout the years. Right, right. You know, who I was back then is not who I am now and the future is so amazing. So it's really about educating and just growing passionate about who I am and being comfortable in my own skin and finding out who am I? Who am I about? What do I love? And so that's where I'm at. You're still going through that process. I'm then. still going through that process. So I just think it's, I got to get to know me before I want to get to know someone else. And so that's a great way them. to put it. Is yeah. this whole process that you had been through the one that got you to the path of life coaching? Is that the main reason why you got into it? Or is there something else that you want to, you know, share I, with people? You know what I think with purpose? Um, I think with purpose, there really is a sense of fulfillment. Um, I, I think that in life, you go through trials and tribulations, you go through successes and you learn about that and then you fall really hard and you live from that. And I really think that change is created in most part in these times by pain, like pain. And you know, in life, I really, I've learned that you have two regrets. It's the, it's the, it's the regret of, you know, time passing, time passing by and, you know, and, and then also you have the, the, the regret or the challenge of, you know, of pain of discipline. And you have to like really understand where you're at in life. And I think for me, it was, I, instead of having the regret of time passing by, I really wanted to say, you know what, I'm going to go through the discipline of pain and change everything and just really discipline myself to say, I deserve better. Where am I at? I'm going to work on myself. But where do I want to go? What's my purpose? Mm. How do I want to change? Who do I want to impact? And because I'm a single mom, my kids are watching me. Oh, wow. So, yeah. you know what? They're a mirror. So, you know, now it's not just my life that's a responsibility. Now it's the, my kids that are watching. Y como Latina, I want to be a contributor. I want to create change. And I want to create change through, through, through you know, pushing out wisdom of things that I've learned and keeping it real and authentic, talking about the real things, not walking around in, in a sense of fake happiness, but keeping it real of saying, I've fallen, I've gotten up, this is what worked for me, I can only share my experiences, I've gotten divorced, right. I've gotten criticized, I've gotten ri ridiculed, they told me no, they said I was too fat, they said I was too Mexican, um, I've, you know, I have three kids, but I'm doing it, I'm living day by day with gratitude, 
Si se puede, tú también puedes get up and go, go after you your go. dreams. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, so when you have, now do you have, great. as a life coach, you have clients? I do. So what are some of the, I mean, everything that you just said, I mean, I resonate with, I'm sure people watching resonate with that. What are some of the techniques that you can put into practice on a daily basis that help you come to these truths? Mm. I think being able to sit with yourself in a quiet moment, first thing in the morning, and speaking your truth. Where am I at in my life? Do I love it or do I hate it? You have to be able to tell yourself that. You don't have to, you don't have to reveal that to anybody else, but to yourself. And then what are things that I could be grateful in my life right now? Because everything is emotion. How are you feeling right now is going to reflect your decisions to the day. What can I look forward to? Um, how can I become better? What, if, what are my passions? You have to ask yourself those real questions mm -hmm. to get yourself on the path of purpose in your life journey. And I think when you figure out what you love and what your passions are, educate yourself. Surround yourself with people who absolutely love what they're doing, who are creating amazing things, who are going after their life dreams, and that's gonna inspire you to become a better human being, mm. just to become a better person. Are you expressing that through art when it comes to fashion designing? You know what, absolutely. I feel that a woman being a woman should be able to dress amazing, regardless of her size. Well, because you I already married. do. Oh, thank yeah. you. Do you but style yourself? I do style myself. Okay. Thank you. You're so I, I've been a size 34, so at 420 pounds, they didn't have a lot of clothes available for my size. So I had to do a lot of designing, a lot of materials. I had, you know, I had inspirations and things that I would love. But I think having been all those sizes all the way to a size 14, you know, it inspires you to be able to say, how can I push this? And how can a woman put a dress on and just feel amazing about themselves? I think they look at you and they see how to do it.